السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين In these series of short lessons we'll be looking at some of the encompassing teachings of our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam covering a beautifully produced book in English called Provisions for Seekers. This work was authored by Sheikh Ashiq Ilahi al Buland Shahri, one of the noted scholars of hadith of the 20th century, and it consists of 327 hadiths of the encompassing hadiths of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jawami al Kalim. Now these hadiths of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in these in this work are all short and they are principles of the deen, either general principles of the religion or principles related to specific aspects of our belief or worship or conduct. So these are very important. And this work has been incorporated, though recent, authored just in the last 40, 50 years, it has been incorporated into the curricula of madrasas in many parts of the Muslim world. And the author, alhamdulillah, what he did, he took this work from a larger work called Mishkatul Masabih by Imam Tabrizi. But he took a particular type of hadith, as we mentioned, word, hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that were short in word and encompassing in meaning. And we would highly recommend the translation of this work provisions for seekers provisions for the seekers and the translation as you can see is by Sheikh Abdul Rahman Ibn Yusuf and is published by White Thread Press and it's beautifully done because uh, rather uniquely in English trans translations of hadith it contains not only the hadith itself but it contains a beautiful short commentary for each of the hadiths taken from either classical commentaries of hadith, particularly on Mishkat al-Masabih, or from a number of commentaries that have been written on this work itself, on Zad al-Talibin of Mawlana Ashiq Ilahi. So what we're going to do in the first lesson is just look briefly at what the author tells us about his book, and then in the next short lesson, we'll begin by looking at the hadiths themselves. So the author says, in the name of Allah, most merciful and compassionate, all praises for Allah, who exalted us over all nations with the message of Muhammad, the one endowed amongst all humanity with encompassing speech and pearls of wisdom. May Allah shower him, his family and companions with blessings and peace, as long as tongues continue to utter and, pen and pens continue to write his praise to proceed, says the author. This is a concise work containing selected sayings of the venerable intercessor, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I've taken them from the magnificent work called Mishkatul Masabih, the niche of lamps, and have titled the work Provisions for the Seekers from the Speech of the Messenger of the Lord of the Worlds. The words of these sayings are few, but their meanings are deep. The one who reads them and memorizes them is illumined, and anyone who listens to them and studies them is delighted. And then he explains that I have divided this book in two parts. May their benefits come to pass both in this life and the next. And I ask Allah to make this world work solely for His sake, for the sake of His pleasure, and that it be a means of entry into the abode of bliss. Indeed, Allah's forgiveness is vast and He is the possessor of infinite bounty. Now a few things can be noted here just briefly. One is that this sunnah of knowledge, which is that one begins one's affairs in general and particularly worthy matters, and most especially of course matters of religion, with what? In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And the sunnahs of beginning are five, as the scholars tell us. That one begin in the name of Allah, with the basmalah. Secondly, that one praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thirdly, 
that we one send blessings on his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay these are three things um, three praises that one states right and then one does two things one explains in the introduction what one is talking about you know what is the book about and secondly why it's important right so the author did all these five things right and why does one begin in the name of Allah seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance and as a statement of faith that everything is from Allah by his creation facilitation and, and assistance he alone is worthy of praise and we do things in accordance with the way of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam being thankful to Allah for the gift of the of the beloved one sallallahu alaihi wasallam and with this commitment to express our thankfulness for that by thanking the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this manner and by following in his example and then he to- tells us as well why this work has been chosen because it's this a collection of hadith in whose in, in these sayings the words of these sayings are few but the meanings are deep and this work has proven to in the short years since it's been written to be a work of great benefit so that's just our introduction to what we'll be covering inshallah and we'll begin by looking in the very first hadith at the hadith of intention and a number of other hadiths we'll, we'll strive in a brief manner to cover about five or so hadiths per session so that we go through the text quickly in a brief way and again we would highly recommend that you acquire a copy of this work provisions for the seekers and it's by Sheikh Ashiq Ilahi translated by Sheikh Abdul Rahman ibn Yusuf and it's published by White Thread Press which is www.whitethreadpress.com and it's alhamdulillah widely available wa jazakumullahu khairan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh